Not finding the ball for you, Malcolm. Sorry. We want a nice big one. I'm gonna give up on ball quest. <laughs> There's just too many small we'll ones. We'll find it when uh, we're not looking Look, look for at it. this little one here. That's Ooh, interesting. That's actually kind of a big one. Ooh, I like it. And it's got something inside. A present. Malcolm did have Whatever some Easter this, eggs. That literally looks like an egg cup, doesn't it? Oh, is that broken off the yeah, top? Yeah, And is like that, come, that the inside of the its brain. Its brain came out. Yeah. Right. So we're going to revisit that. And whilst we're on our detection here. Oh, that's quite nice. Huh. I like that quite a lot. What is going on in there? It looks you got, you got the shell and the deposit on the outside. Look at that, it's like honeycomb inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. What have we got in the middle there? That is wild. Probably carbon? I don't know, but it's definitely got this thickness here yeah. and then this material on the outside. We'll check the shell first. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Well, that's whilst we're under the thing here. I'm, I'm going to take oh, this. Oh, it's not all that big, actually. I'm going to take this. It's another fiber. Maybe, yeah, maybe, but maybe it's 10. nice. Because it's... Maybe a little more than five. Yeah, it's more like 10. Oh, we got these all. Yeah, we've seen those before. I'm right, going to do a line across there. Yeah. That's interesting. Have you ever seen that honeycomb structure inside any of these? Um, inside a broken sphere on Hank Urin's copper in, in the crack with these things growing. It kind of had like a mesh like inside, not, not this small relative to the size of the structure. That's really nice, That's that cool, boundary. Right? really is nice. So we're going to go here. Hold on, what, we, what have we got? Point, that's fine, that's perfect. And this is our egg cup. I'm going to call it egg cup because I'm going to call it egg cup. I'm going to go across there. Yeah, it's the iron at the start. Yeah. Iron and oxygen. Looks like carbon in the middle. Mm. Yes, it does look like carbon. It's like a carbon sphere and it's dropping down. The oxygen's coming up, the iron's coming up. So actually this is, it's a carbon sphere with iron on the outside. This is interesting. Or, I mean, is it possible that you're, you're generally getting carbon on both the outside and the inside of the iron? No, the carbon drops down to ne nearly very low here. And we, as we're going in this direction, right? But I'm the, saying is the it, iron is coming up, the oxygen is coming up, right. so, and the sulfur is coming up on the outside because we're hitting this calcium sulfide, and there, there's the calcium coming up, yeah. right? So this is calcium sulfate, gypsum. We have carbon sphere, and then on the outside we have this iron oxygen. But when you've seen other cracked spheres, do you ever find carbon inside them? Well, the carbon comes from the inside, doesn't it? You've well, seen the plumes of carbon coming from yeah, the right, outside. Right. So this, this actually could be an iron sphere forming right. uh, with, with its carbon in a shell. Look, you can see as we go along there. Here's, here's your ratios. So from on the inside, it, there's still iron there. So if we go by atomic concentration on the inside, Carbon and oxygen represents almost all of it. It's like 50, what? Oh dear, 50, 60, 70, 80, 6, 86 percent, and then 12 percent iron, and 1 percent calcium, and almost nothing else. And as we go along there, we're in the middle here of our section here, and there's no presidimium there, is there? That's going to be. Um, Chromium. Okay, so here in the middle of this, still very at uh, eighty, nearly ninety percent carbon and oxygen yeah. with very little. There's calcium there. As we come along here, yeah, as soon as you hit that lip, though, get to that boundary there. It's still pretty low, honestly, for iron. Yeah, but then the iron is flipping over to be yeah 
fourteen percent an oxygen. That's still fairly low, though. But look at all all those other elements there. Yeah, if they've got are, the sulfur, the silicon, and and look. But though, when you put it on the weight, though, the yeah. iron here and the iron yeah. and the oxygen now is yeah. 80, 85 percent. Yep. Right. Whereas over here, the carbon and oxygen is 67, 68 percent. Yep. So this could be a very important story. <laughs> I want to. Yeah. What's going on with that? You want you want to see what's in the middle? I want to see the you? brain. You want uh, the the outside? That look no the well it looks this like bit in the middle. It looks like half this its brain spilled out and half of its left. Right. Well, it's going to be difficult. Oh, this interestingly will be the inside shell, won't it? It's the inside. It's the of the, the iron bit. <laughs> it's the iron bit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so we can get a better map from that, maybe, of a specific point map. I'm going to stop that because I think that's told us the story already. And and we're going to look at this. Yep. And that is a very high yeah, iron oxygen clean. ratio. Look at that. So by iron, 23, so on. The residual car carbon, yeah. So in this case, in a plasma, where you've got carbon as the major fuel, um, you're getting your hollow sphere. So what is this material in the middle? Look, calcium there, silicon, these are the classic elements. That ball lightning signature is calcium, silicon, and iron. And then obviously nitrogen and oxygen, because you've got those in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously carbon. But anyway, so that, that's that. Let's have a look on the inside there. Yeah. If we can get any photons in there or x rays in there. Carbon, I'm guessing. Yeah, I should imagine so. Yeah. So it's uh, 75, 76%, 77%. Oh, hold on, that's more. But look, you've got phosphorus in there huh. and sulfur, chlorine. Look, here, here's your synthesized elements from the inside. That, that is it. That is it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, is that the whole profile? Of what? The, the, these are all the elements you get synthesized here. What the, yeah? You're literally seeing the uh, spectrum of the stellar synthesis coming from the content of the inside of this sphere. Freaking brilliant. The calcium? Yeah, calcium. Strong peak of calcium. This is potassium. It's not come in yet. So is that where it's doing it? Right there? Yeah, it's, it, Solim said it. Magnetic charges form uh, hollow spheres inside which nuclear synthesis occurs. Dude. In his 1992 pattern. Look at that. Zoom yeah. Who's doing more? So uh, you've got silicon there. You've got aluminium there. Uh, this is mag... But we need to do a longer sample. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to do another sample in there. You want to do a map of that? Of that? I think, I think it's telling us the story of the material. I just want to, I want to resolve that for longer. Mm. So I want to do, um, uh, change the maximum time here because it's not getting a lot of counts here. Yeah. So it only did right. 40 seconds. That's why it's not resolved. So I'm going to do this to maximum time of uh, 300. I know it's 10 minutes, but I, what I want to see is a nice smooth form here. Close. And I'll try and go where we're going to get most of our x-rays. So, uh, there. It's getting even less peaks, but they're, they're starting to resolve, you see? Yeah. That's it. Solim was right. <laughs> Hollow spheres in which nuclear reactions occur. So we got a hollow sun, potentially. I don't know whether we got a hollow sun, but the well, evidence is stacking up. Yeah. <laughs> hollow everything. So definitely got silicon in there, include. Definitely got aluminium in there, include. That is chromium, I think. Yep. yep. Nickel. And nickel's the last thing you get with stellar synthesis. <laughs> it, is. Nickel, it, is, it is literally the last is stellar synthesis. <laughs> yeah, because where else are you going to get 
I mean, where else would phosphorus be coming from? That, that is potassium there. So we got potassium coming in. It's also in the stellar synthesis. And this one is magnesium, I think. Or, yeah, I think it's magnesium. Well, which one? Where's potassium? This one down here. Where's potassium? It's not strong enough on the magnesium. But like, where, like... The potassium's here. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to leave it to result. It can't get a lot of uh, electron beams in there. Look, we've only got a thousand counts. If you go to somewhere here, like here, look, there, it's got 20,000 counts. Here, it's got 7,000 counts. So we're struggling to get counts here, but we're getting very clear peaks. The time has cleared up that data beautifully. Look at that. What a lovely thing. Now, what is that peak there? Uh, that is the sodium peak. Yeah, that's our missing. Is it? It just doesn't have that secondary peak there. Chlorine. Yeah, that's the, that, oh, that is the nickel peak. It's just, we're not seeing... What's that one next to it? Not lanthanum. What's that? It's not oxygen. Zinc? It could be zinc. Which is an alpha particle on from... Yeah? Well... You know, we got a little bump there. It's not... I wouldn't say that was... Uh, yeah. If it is, bit. it's extremely small. Yeah, quite a bit. But that is the alpha on from nickel. I would have said more likely, there's definitely nickel there. So, so I would do away with the, that's much more nickel peak to me. See, it yeah. could be that this thing there, but like- It's kind of petering out at that point. Wh whatever, there's, if we had a, uh, now the thing is, can we see some of this material out here, is that what's up there? Um, I don't know, but like this, this for me is, is absolutely Yeah, that, what beautiful. if that, yeah, maybe it dumped half of its yeah. payload up Obviously there. carbon and oxygen are the most thing there. We've got the iron, um, but the rest of this, it's stellar synthesis. <laughs> now you could say it's all detritus. Yes, you could. It's definitely not. How, but I mean, well, you start to get a, a kind of idea of what's going on. Right? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Where's where's the phosphorus coming from? Where's the? I mean, calcium. Now, is that is that part of this cap? It looks That's like it I might be. Or is that the inside? Let's see what this material is compared to like this material. Probably more likely to be iron. It's a totally blended material of stuff, but it is a kind of rounded bit. Let's find out what it is, right? Yeah. Um. We'll go plus. We'll go like so. What is this? It's silicon. Silicon dioxide. And that's the material that's normally on the outside of the iron. <laughs> so maybe that was its hat and then its skull yeah, blew off. Yeah, maybe there's a whole bunch of these kind of fragments. Its around. hat fell off and then its I mean, skull that really off. is like silicon and oxygen. Yeah. The rest is not there. Right. I'm going to stop that because that's extremely clear silicon, silicon oxygen si signal. I mean, hold on, what happened there? I'm just, I'm really curious about the honeycomb structure. No, no. <laughs> you think the carbon is creating I'm pretty it? sure that's that. I'm going to see what this edge is here because... Uh, Do you think the carbon is what is creating that chilico, uh, the honeycomb structure? In that yeah, maybe, point? yeah. Yeah, this is... Slightly different. It's not. I mean, that is like pure silicon and oxygen there. Yeah. Um, but this has a bunch of other stuff in there. Mercury? I don't think so. I don't think there's no mercury. And there's no mercury in there. Stop it. No, stop it. There's no mercury. Definitely looks like there's aluminium. I'll, I'll give you the aluminium. Often aluminium comes with silicon. Okay, all right. We'll stop that. Can you can you zoom in any further to that honeycomb, or is that uh, maxed out there? Well, yeah, we're not going to see. We're at three microns here. 
We can get, have get a look. in there. Get in there. It wants to be a six or six. What? It's a regular array, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's packing. Yeah. I wonder if there's a difference between the the rim of it and then the interior. You, you want to run a line across? Well, I think that was, I, no. no point. No. <laughs> We, I mean, we got we, we got, got we got a lot of a lot of other things to yeah, look at. And, that's fine. But that's, and this how cool is that? Tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's killer. Uh, because there's not much point looking at it at high risk. I mean, well, that shows us our elements. Very like, cool. There we go. That is awesome. It's getting hot in here. Look at these little guys, the little balls in here. Yeah. Ball in this area, ball in this area, ball here, ball here. You think that shot off from the sphere? These are just little structures of these things. And they consume, you can see how much they can consume in their immediate surroundings. I'm interested, but this like has these substructure to it like a bubbly substructure yeah, a little porous yeah i want to have a little bit closer to look at that actually this has revealed a little bit more of the detail here when this disappears in four seconds you're going to see a little bit closer up shot of that get my mouse out of the way there you go look look at that nice nice looks like it looks like a bit of coral doesn't it's it so cool that is really cool actually i just want to kind of get some more contrast on this boundary here Look, look, lump, 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 lump. <laughs> uh, and we go like this and we'll see if we can get any tighter focus on that. No, not really. Although we got this on the high em energy. Let me, let me pull that down to there and let me put that on image and see if we can get a better, better image from this. It's going to move now. Yeah, it's brilliant. Glad we did that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's helping a little bit. Hmm. You can imagine if this got purer and purer and purer, then this would be your yeah. iron and oxygen crenellation. So is this telling us that story? If we see that they are bound or they are fused through the sphere, they're not just kind of clumped no, together. No, it is a discrete zone. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Very cool. That's that was very cool. Really yeah. nice. Yeah, that was Unexpected a win there. Yeah, really nice. 